I don't know what it is, but whenever I get up from my desk, <laughs> I get more viewers. <laughs> Are you all trying to tell me something? I left my water bottle uh, on top of the refrigerator, like a smart person. Lucky wing. That's pretty good. Uh, Narik says muted. I was eating. That sucks. For some reason, this music really specifically reminds me of like Blade Runner. Oh god, that thing. trying to free up space in my inventory right now. And I have like I have plenty of uh, items to throw at enemies, so I'm I'm doing okay as far as damage goes. Got a torture. Ah, Alice. I feel like I can relate to the emotions of those children. Suffering, thinking about nothing but being cured. Uh, interesting. You were extracted from our soul. We are insane. It is your fault that we became insane. Is she like God or something? You want to cut me? That's fine. Blah, blah, blah. Because we know that uh, the Archangel's plan was to drive God insane. So if we're a part of God that was extracted for some reason, it makes sense why they would want to like clone us and keep us in control and stuff or keep us under their control. Eliza. Thank you. I'm able to birth our egg because you gave me your pure water. Is pure water, you know. <laughs> if we sample lots of uncorrupted information and spew forth that data, spew forth, we should be able to restore things to the way they were. That is why we'll need many sense spheres. Uh, okay. Look, your core became a sense sphere, which contains your memories. With it, you can remember who you were. Oh. Am I going to get another cool cutscene? There is no other way. 
He left me a note. Knight to e3. What an impatient move. It's not possible to preserve the two of them with only one heart. Why is our body different from everyone else? If they remain fused together, both of them will surely die. My back hurts because my brother was squirming around. There's no other way. We must sacrifice one of them. It'll be checkmate in seven moves, uh, but I first must sacrifice my queen. Help us. Through the Debar fusion, grant God the voice of man. But who will undertake the fusion? Number 12 seems appropriate, as he once lost half of his body. If this is discovered, they'll be torn apart. But if things continue like this, the Archangel will replace the Creator and Preserver. There is no other way. We must undertake the Debar fusion. Help us. What? The Coriel are att attempting the Debar? Place the traitors in the confinement coffins. Halt the Debar fusion. Pull them apart. Don't tear us apart. Help us. Were they like conjoined twins or something? Or like f weirdly fused as a part of the cloning process? I don't really understand. <laughs> That's very intriguing. All right. Uh, interesting. I don't really know what to take that to mean. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Transferred the non-flammable to the ground, I guess. That's interesting. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they're supposed to be like conjoined twins, but as far as we know, uh, we were a member of the Coriel and we had a brother that lost half of his body and we needed to be separated, which makes it seem like we were conjoined twins, I think. Kind of an uh, interesting <laughs> characteristic for a, a protagonist in a game like this. JRPG anime boy uh, conjoined twin. <laughs> Kind of interesting. Just like really interesting character archetype. What the heck? How do I get through there? Or is it right? No. Huh. It says this should be like a path, but I can't get through here. Huh. Yeah, no idea. Uh, Raf says, is he really an anime boy or is that just a remake thing? Um, I think it's turned up for the remake, but like we saw him, we saw all the clones. They were like blue haired anime boys. <laughs> when we went to the lab. So, in a sense, they're all still anime boys, yeah? Ugh, all of my, my like, health and items, my VT recovery items are all, like, rotten. I really need to find a Crypt Angel. Raph says, I didn't want to accept it because them being anime boys detracts from the aesthetic of the game to me. I think it's it's better when you uh, <laughs> consider them to be like 90s serial experiments lane looking anime boys and not like sword art online anime boys.
I got beaten up pretty bad right there. That was rough. Uh, let's see. Not too bad. Triple facet. Uh, possessing three attributes, fire, ice, and lightning. That's not too bad, but I don't really have what I need to make that powerful enough to use it. Rare candy, woohoo. Recovers all parameters when injected, repairs equipment, removes rot. Oh man, nice. I should have picked up the other things probably, but that's okay. Why am I not allowed to go in here? Is there like a switch I need to press or something? Doesn't seem like it. It's another one of these weird rooms, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Nope, no clue. I'm not sure what floor this is either. Such an eerie soundscape. Whoa! Oh! What are you? Don't shoot lasers at me. What the heck? Ugh. Crypt Angel, great. <laughs> Just what I need after I need it. That's a bummer. Definitely need that to increase our defense value. Ooh, burst uh, bone. That's useful. So, as we're nearing what feels like the end, because we've been getting a ton of cutscenes and stuff, I'm only more curious about the game <laughs> and all the things that we've kind of witnessed in it so far. It's a rotten seed, but we'll use it anyway. Yeah. Nope. Just 
go back over here, purify that, uh, seed. Hang on to that for a bit, just in case we get low again. I think we'll be fine because we have that full heal, so it's like not a huge deal. Um, and we have like hella health, so we can last a long time at zero VT if we need to. I don't really need the detox when I have the special. Sudden difficulty spike. These enemies are uh, getting a little bit rough. What in the hell? He's pogging! Look at them, they pog when they attack. <laughs> Baroque pog, let's go. All right, these enemies are pretty tough, but, oh, Pog, let's fight the Pogger. I have no idea what this thing is called, but <laughs> I love its facial expression. Oh, a sense sphere. Um, cool.
Alright, I've hit the item cap, that's all I was testing. Item, or not item, the enemy spawn rate is getting very high. <laughs> I mean, it's good for us because it means we have more um, level up opportunities, but yeah, we're so close to leveling up again. <laughs> Is this a new biome for us? I think it is. Oh! Oh! Ah. Ah. Thing really latched on. I think that's the enemy from the opening cutscene. Honestly, they don't actually seem to take that much damage. Like, they, they're not hard to kill. Omega Jerome. So big. Such a big boy. Come here, drone. I'm trying to wrap my head around what we learned. Specifically, it's not really clear to me what we were doing with the Coriel or like why we were Coriel. It just seems to be a thing that we were. We happened to be in this, I guess, secret society maybe that was trying to figure out how to interact with God. Um, but we wanted to initiate something called the Dabar Fusion, which again, we don't really have a clear indicator of what it is. It just seems like it has something to do with the great heat wave that like destroyed the world and impaled the Archangel. But given how like blatantly evil the Archangel is, I don't really know uh, if we want to believe anything he said about the Great Heat Wave. The Sun Spheres here are man-made devices created by the Archangel for the purposes of streaming false information. Stop. Stop. No. Alright, so I can't kill him. That's a bummer. Oh! Primed laser charge right as I turn the corner. Ah! I've been face hugged! Ah! Ugh. These things can really eat into your health really quick. Come on, Jerome. Did 
392 HP, not bad. All right, we're over 400 health. And I just wanted to clear up some space in the inventory to take advantage of that, so that's awesome. We seemingly got pretty lucky there. What is this? Oh, Hope Wing, excellent. So now we have hope experience and, uh, what was it, lucky? Yeah. That's pretty solid for us. Oh, that's where we started. So, as far as we know, we're attempting something called the Dabar Fusion, and that's what the Archangel wanted to stop. Or I guess because it failed, I'm not sure. So, maybe Archangel trying to get us to kill God, we need to keep merging with it. Because we were, like, extracted from it or something. What in the world? <laughs> Ooh, intervention. Oh, that's the sword we lost last game. It's not nearly as strong as our current sword. Whoa, tarot card enemy. What in the world? The enemies we're fighting now are getting really trippy. <laughs> Alright, gonna have to walk back to where we were. This thing can only attack in a straight line, so. Oh God, he's coming for me. So we're getting close to the bottom, I think, right? Even though this is a completely new biome and we've been to the bottom before. <laughs> Seems to be that the tower is warping around us, basically. Stamina sword. Huh. Let's just do what we can to take out the enemies. I don't really feel like... Oh! I don't really feel like I need to sit here and just like babysit everything constantly, but uh, getting those level ups is going to be good. I think the level cap is 40. I'm not 100% sure, but. We can do our best to uh, get as many level ups as we can.
All right, what is anonymous do? I've been wondering this whole time. Oh, a torture device with an unknown effect. Gotcha. We can just go back and go through the portal. This is, I think, the highest level we've ever been, which is pretty sick. Keep dropping explosive traps. Hey, Metal Chaos is here. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> I turned it into a worm right as it lurched at me. Current bottom floor is 22. Okay. Worker Angel. The Guardian Angel extracted the Littles, and yet she goes and betrays us after all this time. There are other workers on their way to slaughter the Littles. The Malkuth has fallen into chaos because of the Great Heat Wave. No, it's the entire world that's fallen into the chaos. Let's kill this guy. You want to get beaten to a pulp too? Yeah, I could easily take you. I'm super high level. <laughs> what are you talking about? Freezing torture, not bad. Oh, I can hear like babies crying in my headphones. This is eerie. Is this the floor that the littles are contained on then? Intriguing. So we learned that the angelic rifle shoots littles, basically, right? Oh god, I hate their like baby babbling. Ugh. It's the worst. Painful, painful? What in the world? Oh, please purify, please. Okay, we'll purify you. How do I purify you? Oh, I see. Thank you. So this will prevent them from doing their plan, right? Interesting. So wait, didn't... What's her name? Uh, Alice? Didn't she say she understood their, like, emotions or whatever? Why would she? The guardian angel extracted a little, and she goes, okay, so his dialogue hasn't changed.
The music on that floor was dope. Forty million enemies. That was a quick way to take a lot of damage. <laughs> What is that thing? That was, uh, that was terrifying. <laughs> a quick way to take a ton of damage. There we go. That was convenient, but, all right, a sense sphere we can't really use. This is floor 21, so our next floor is gonna be the bottom, dang. I think I'm gonna try to give Alice the uh, little sphere or whatever, because she literally just mentioned like, oh, I think I can understand their pain. And isn't that what the idea Sephiroth are, is like their emotions and stuff like bundled up into a package that you can consume or like a reed or crystal ball kind of? We'll see. I think that's what the game is trying to tell me to do. Are you carrying the idea Sephira of the Littles? Are you really? I wonder what we must do to return that pain and suffering to ourself. Hey, I want to see it, the suffering of Littles. Oh, okay, I knew it. I was so smart. <laughs> what is this feeling? I feel horrible. The Littles' thoughts, the pain that was extracted has returned at last. I'm in agony. 
but this we can suffer and we can grieve. I will return carrying this suffering within me. I return to myself. So yeah, I guess she was a part of God? That's kind of interesting. Huh. I didn't expect her to be right there. <laughs> I also didn't expect her to just ask me <laughs> immediately for the thing I was like, hmm, I wonder if she wants that. <laughs> It's the most forthright the game has been this entire time. Oh, I want that experience. Whoa! We want that. A blast box. These things are really deadly, holy crap. The fact that they inflict darkness is just annoying, but they just, they take so many hits. Dang, all right, we, <laughs> we just got two really helpful stat boosts. We're at level 36 of 40, I think. On BF 23. I thought this was the last floor. I'm confused. Erasure brand, we don't really need that. <laughs> Another level up, that's pretty sweet. Uh, Raf says, I know what this reminds me of. Uh, Blam by Tsutomi Hei. Yeah, uh, that's one of my favorite manga. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I was really interested in playing this. just kind of walk <laughs> it using our map and not have to worry about uh, the direction that we're going. Oh god. Oh wow, what is this? It's 
stop blinding me, please, I beg you. They just skipped like four level ups, that's pretty sick. Yeah, if, if viewers are looking for something to read or consume that is even remotely like this, uh, blam, or blame, as it looks like it's spelled, but is not actually what it is. Oh my god, these are enemies. Uh, is not actually how it's pronounced. Um, is a great manga. Like, a really, really excellent manga that's very... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It is uh, very much a narrative that you are uh, kind of putting together over the course of a really long period of time uh, where it's really unclear exactly how long uh, is passing in between each page even. Um, it's a really, really cool manga. Uh, one, of, one of my favorites of all time, easily. And it's got beautiful uh, large effect, uh, or large effect, large uh, format uh, volumes in the U.S. at least. I'm not sure about other other places, but it's it's really excellent. It's worth looking into. Those things can't handle circle strafing, so... Oh boy, I almost really screwed myself. That's fine. I didn't think throwing it would trigger the effect, but it did. Lucky wings or hope wings? I think lucky wings are, are probably, or the hope wings are probably the, the ones that are the best for now, but distorted. What does that do? Capable of attacking with great power, four plus two. Eh, I'll throw that. It's a throwing weapon. Plugs into the air, sound may no longer be heard, effect disappears after a while. That's a throwing weapon. <laughs> Doesn't actually seem that useful unless you really hate the music or something. <laughs> Absorption not obtained. All right. That's fine. I wonder if you can tell what type of bone they are just by the sound they make. Oh god. Oh god, poisoned. That sucks. Get away from me. Venomous obtained. Interesting. Oh. oh wow, I am taking a lot of damage. Uh, I think this is rotten flesh. Yeah, give me a full HP, but also... There we go, okay. We're good. That could be a pretty powerful uh, trap. Turning and give, giving everything in the room poison. It basically means I'm attacking everything all at once, which is excellent. Oh, I thought that was the Crypt Angel. Get out of here. have to start playing a little bit safer because holy crap did I take a lot of damage in like one go there. BF25. 
I wonder how deep it goes. Oh, a resurrection brand. Another venomous uh, pattern. Interesting. Torture, not pattern. I need to stop saying that. <laughs> Heal. Interesting. What does that do? Heals 50 HP for everyone in the room, including grotesques. Okay. Then I'll just go into a room and use it before I do any damage to grotesques. Simple enough. Septic obtained. Interesting. Once we hit uh, level 40, we won't even really need to prioritize fighting enemies. We can just kind of go from floor to floor because there's no benefit to us fighting anything anymore. Another sense sphere. I mean, we've got to be close to the bottom, right? Maybe if I find an ID bone, I'll, I'll throw it and see. I think I'm still doing good on um, overall healing. I think I have one more full heal left. And I don't know if I have any... Um, ah, this is not good. I know I have one more full heal left, and I don't think I have any other status heals, so that's the thing to worry about. Because the damage really racks up when I get uh, hit with status. Ooh, a recovery. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Genius meat. Revives the user when HP is depleted. Holy crap. Do I have a... Uh, I don't have the erasure bone anymore. Oh, well. Can't use that right now, but that's fine. I don't really want to get rid of my, my current Trident brand, though. It's so good. Like, there's zero reason to. Nice, level 40. All right, top of the food chain. Let's just leave. <laughs> There's no reason to fight anything. We just need to get to the bottom now. I think we're in the end game. All right. So yeah, uh, assuming this is the end of the game, which it very well might not be, uh, really interesting video game. I really like its approach to storytelling, and I really like how just vague and strange it all is. Um, I will definitely be playing the other versions of this game, right? As I said, I plan on recording the Saturn version just to have a playthrough of it on YouTube because it doesn't really seem like anyone has done one. Um, so that would be cool to have. Um, but I also want to do the Wii version. Wait, level 41? I didn't realize it scaled above that. Interesting. So we'll just have to keep on killing stuff, I guess. Oh my god, so much damage. Ugh. Alright, 
That's sick. Uh, but yeah, well, I definitely want to play the Wii version of the game just to see how different it is. It seems so weird and just like, it's hard to imagine that this game of all game got a bunch of remakes and re-releases, right? Like, it just doesn't seem right. <laughs> so, we'll definitely have to check that out. Um, and then, as I said before, well, I definitely want to try playing some of the Shadow Tower games, some of the Kingsfield games, just to kind of keep up this, like, weird, old dungeon crawler game experience that I have going on here. Because I think that this is the kind of game that I think a lot of people wouldn't play, but has really been a rewarding and strange experience. It's been really stellar. Like, tell me you've ever played a game that's really like this one, because I don't think you have. <laughs> uh, level 42. Wow, I'm leveling up quickly. I wonder why. Finally. We can feed bones to the uh, crypt angel. It's like, get away from me, you weirdo. Why are you throwing all this stuff at me? <laughs> I'm not even going to really use any of this. <laughs> rose. What does the rose sort of do? All right. Uh... Guillotine not obtained, Rose not obtained. What the heck does Rose do? Poison not obtained. Definitely don't need that. Well, there's a bunch of swords there in case anyone wants them. Free for the grabs. But yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure that there is a, you know, an actual meaning to a lot of the story that is like a little bit more concrete than I am able to understand right now. I'm definitely going to uh, like look into the story analysis and stuff once I'm, uh, once I'm through um, just to see. a crypt angel but I don't really need to get health at this point I have plenty of health I don't think anything is gonna kill me famous last words I know but <laughs> I think we're fine Twenty-eight. Again, how many floors are there? I have no idea. I thought 22 was supposed to be the last floor. But yeah, I'm really glad that I was able to share this game with people because, uh, again, it's, it's not the kind of thing that I think a lot of people would take a swing on, but I find games like this really exciting and really just enjoyable. So the idea of being able to uh, kind of help people <laughs> get through it uh, is really exciting to me because I think that there's a lot of worth in these old games that that people don't uh, think have aged well, quote unquote, or you know things like that. Um, I think it's a shame that more people don't go back and play stuff like this. So it's very very cool to me that all of you uh, stuck around the stream for the basically the entirety of the game, right? Like this is a really neat <laughs> weird experience that I don't think you can get anywhere else. So.
Ooh, convergence. Uh, I'm not gonna deal with it. That's fine. I'm really not gonna focus on fighting things right now. I don't really need to. Yeah, especially with how much damage everything is doing. Dang. Oh. That was rough. Oh, nice. I got a full heal, though. So we're good. We're back in the clear. <laughs> oh, shoot. Did I just walk right past the uh, level area? The staircase thing? Dang. It's another sense sphere. I really don't... It's given me so many sense spheres. It's like, go ahead, send stuff down. <laughs> Just in case, but like, I definitely don't need them. <laughs> I'm doing just fine. There we go. Raf says, I do like some of these weird old games, even if I don't play them much. Yeah, I mean, is this guy a tank? This is like some The Void, like, enemy design. It's really freaky and strange. Uh, they look like the brothers from The Void. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I understand most people don't have the stamina to play games like this uh especially if they're from you know before their time but i just i really dig this kind of thing i think it's really cool i think for the most part people view especially games but the progression of technology to be very linear um and it's not <laughs> like the progression of game design and like trends in gaming and stuff have been very uh, non-linear and, and all over the place for years and years and years and years. And like, I think this game is a great example of that, right? Like this is a esoteric, for lack of a better word, like souls like <laughs> roguelite. Uh, and I'm only using the term souls like here to to get to the point that like this is the kind of game that people uh, that had fallen out of favor for quite some time until very recently when they just suddenly, you know, in the grand scheme of things, started to pop back up and get really big again and, like, have a market for this sort of thing. So it, it's cool that, like, a game like this can exist the way it does because it is so out of time. And it's interesting to see how they kind of did these design elements that we nowadays take a little bit for granted back in the day before anyone uh, really had a chance to use them uh, and refine them. Raf says, it's not even just stamina, it's that I don't uh, basically have anywhere to play them. I definitely understand that. Uh, one thing to say uh, about it is that emulation is really amazing and you can you can emulate on tons of different devices now to really great uh, degrees of accuracy which is cool. Oh shoot I'm on I'm all the way at the bottom. Sweet. Are you the original? I see. Was it impossible for a clone? It seems you're the only one who can bring an end to this world. Now enter the sense sphere and head to the bottom layer. Okay, am I at the bottom layer again? Sick. Um, you know, I am a big proponent for people having access to games, right? And that includes emulation. Um, emulation is magical. If it weren't for emulation, I would not have played half the video games I have played as a child. So uh, definitely look towards uh, that. Like, there's a treasure trove of games from the past that people kind of forget exist, but there you can still access them. 
Can you hear my voice? I'm addressing you through the sense sphere. Now fire the angelic rifle. Purify the insane god of creation and preservation. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to walk into the insane god like we did last time. Yes, I was the one who tore you apart. The distorted god of creation and preservation created multiple divinities in order to fill the space left behind by your absence. But there's no point in you reuniting with the god. It shall accomplish nothing. It will only result in further distortion. In order to heal this world gone mad, we have no choice but to temporarily end it. Only then may we recreate it with our own hands. Do you understand? Purify the distorted god of creation and preservation. End this distorted world. It seems you understand. Baroques are indelible. Launch the little angelic insect and purify the god of creation and preservation. I don't think I'm going to do that. Don't go mad. Don't go mad. Don't go mad. All right. Let's see what happens. Help. Don't go mad. <laughs> if you two are going mad, then I will too. You're more important to me than the world. I was born so that I could become one with you. Are you refusing to save the world? I can't believe that while the people of this world suffer under the influence of their Baroques, that you, the root of all of this, are just going to withdraw into yourselves and leave the world to madness? Don't go mad. Save the world. Don't go mad. I don't care. You're more important to me than even the world itself. Release me. Trying to reason with you is futile. I said that funny. Futile. Futile. <laughs> Can't you hear me? Shit, have they both succumbed to the distortion? Angelic insects. How did they manage to get in here? They can't survive outside their cultivation tubes. It should be impossible for them to take flight without dying. What is the meaning of this? Don't ask me, bud. The head of this household is ill. Smoochin. Pain is returning. been resurrected. The pain is returned. We are one, yet we are not one. What will become of us? Baroques are in all things. Come, let us penetrate through here. And the world remains in madness, existing within each and every one of us. I remain the same as I was. We will continue to carry the distortion within ourselves. Trying to purify the world was, in itself, a distorted delusion. So what do we do then? Entwine with the distortion without turning away. Penetrate through here. But this is the world we created. Our eyes are locked on one another. Hold on tight. Now let's go. That is why we must accept it. Hell yeah. Woo! Let's go! 
We beat it. What a weird game. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of fun with this. This was interesting. I have no idea how exactly we triggered everything to happen. The game was a little bit more straightforward than I expected. Characters uh, kind of just tell you what they want and then you do it to them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I dug this. I thought this was a sick game. Uh, just very interesting, very bizarre. Um, again, I'm sure that uh, the the game has like a more understandable story for those who are clued into all the details. Uh, speaking of which, shout out to nervetower.neocities.org. That's like the fan site that handled the translation for this game. Uh, I They have all sorts of resources on the site. They have the translation for the um, prequel novels. They have summaries of the prequel visual novel adaptation. They have uh, a comparison between the Saturn and the PS1 version on the site. There are walkthroughs and guides for the game, um, things like that. Uh, and they have all the dialogue translated as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this, this has been a really great uh, experience. I really, if anything, loved delving into what I could tell was someone else's favorite thing of all time, right? Like, this game, uh, as much as I enjoyed it, it is not my favorite game of all time. <laughs> you know, it's it's something that I think is a cool novelty and it's a very interesting curiosity. But it is so clearly the kind of thing that inspires a real cult following. Um, and so it was really enjoyable for me to just walk in someone else's shoes in, in that sense and, and get the opportunity to, like, check out this thing that I'm sure, you know, is the most important thing in the world to 10 people. <laughs> uh, but overall, I just I thought this was really sick. This was a really interesting uh, game, a really cool project. Um, and, yeah, I really look forward to playing the remake. Uh if only to see what the heck the uh, remake would do to the story to make it more mainstream, I guess, uh, is the only way to phrase that. Um, just because I can't imagine being able to just make this into something that's, like, approachable for everyone. Like, even with, like, an anime coat of paint over it. Like, I don't think that this game is the kind of game that has, like, a narrative that is digestible for most people. So I'm very curious how this Wii version that is a little bit apparently filed down is like, because I'm, I'm just really curious. So, uh, yeah, really intriguing game. Uh, really bizarre. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to figure out, uh, something else, uh, to stream after this, but yeah, this was a, this was a whole fun experience. And, uh, if you're looking for more Baroque, I guess pay attention to my YouTube because, I'll go ahead and, and upload everything there, uh, including playthroughs of the Saturn version, which are basically the same, just look a little bit different, and the uh, Wii version. Anyway, uh, I'll send you all off. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Peace out.